Hey, Nathan Elm, Nathan DeVoe here. I just want to give a brief story behind uh, kind of the history of, of kind of writing The Lord Shall Come, uh, one of the songs on our newest EP, Come Lord Jesus. Uh, back in kind of early 2023, uh, Pastor Craig had sent me uh, a poem uh, by uh, Reginald Heber uh, called The Lord Shall Come. Uh, and it just really kind of stood out to me. Uh, there were some really cool lines in it, some of which are translated directly into the song. Um, the Lord shall come, but not the same as once in lowliness he came. So tweaked it a little bit, but you can hear how that becomes the chorus of the song. Um, but as kind of writing this song um, progressed and as the song took shape, uh, this idea of contrasting the difference between Christ's first coming and his second coming kind of emerged, which isn't really something that the poem talks about, but just in kind of writing it, that theme emerged. And so as you kind of sing through the song and you get from verse one to verse two and you, you contrast the, the lowliness and the, the hardship of Christ's first coming uh, with his second coming, uh, you have this verse one of a, a weary man uh, oppressed by power um, but by the time you get to verse two, he's been resurrected and he's reigning with the father. Um, so that by the time you finally get to verse three, you're contrasting it uh, again with that chorus in between um, that the trumpets are sounding and every knee is bowed and Christ is returning for his people. Uh, and even the bridge that comes from the very end of Revelation, uh, when all of creation and the Holy Spirit and the church are longing for the coming of Christ and saying, come, return to us again. And so that general idea is something that was a cool idea to explore in this song. Um, just meditating on the truth and the somberness of Christ's first coming, but then his resurrection and the expectation that we have of his second coming and how it's going to be much different and that we'll all be able to return home with him. So I hope that's an encouragement to you as you listen to this song and I hope you enjoy it as you listen.